Welcome to one of the most anticipated colouring books in our collection for 2020 and that is The Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans. I'm showing you the front, back and the spine just to give you an idea of what this looks like. It's comparable to his other books in size, in format and I'd say the paper quality is pretty much the same too. I'm going to go and show you a little bit of my guilty pleasure right now. So I'm going to just pause this part for a second and I'm going to head on over to my collection and, well, judge for yourselves. So back to what we're supposed to be doing and we're going to be flipping through the pages of Worlds Within Worlds and having a look of the contents in which he has provided within the pages for us. And here we go into one of the rides of our lifetimes. Okay, I'm probably over exaggerating there, but that's what it feels like once I held this in my hands. Okay, so we're used to seeing the skulls in Imagimorphia, uh, where he's got one mechanical skull and one botanical skull. This one's more of a Viking ship. We've got this whole space vibe going on with mantra rays and sharks and coral reefs up in space. Okay, this is a new take on something that is really quite exciting. We travel the pages and we have underwater, we have kind of two worlds split here. So if you look below the water scene, we've got what could be something from ruins. I'm going to come in here with my comparisons now. So once I was flicking through Kirby's books, I kind of thought, hmm. This does remind me of something that I've found now within the Worlds Within Worlds book. So this was one of them. Although this is a single octopus, this reminds me, as you can see on the screen, of a lot of influence from the two octopuses that we saw in Animorphia. The worlds within this page are really replicant of the seven wonders of the world, whilst the monkey reminds me of something that we found in the camel in Animorphia. You'd also find that it reminds you of Petra in Jordan. The Chinese dragon reminds me again of something that we had in Mythomorphia. I've done a comparison for you on the screen so you can kind of see where the influences may have come from from his Morphia series. These sea creatures we have seen once before in Imagimorphia. We've just got a completely different world this time on top of its shell.
These little ants here reminded me so very much of those little snails that carried those little tiny houses on their backs. So we're looking at the koi carp, we're looking at the Japanese fighting fish, although they're two different fish, a lot of the influences are very similar. So after diving in some really new and fresh pages, we're also going to compare this. So we have seen a ram's head before, but he's used the entire bodies this time and he's used worlds within those bodies. So not only do we have in Anamorphia the heads, we've now got the entire animal with the worlds and more to colour. This clock reminded me so much of the two that we have in Imagimorphia. I've put one on the screen so you can see the comparison as well. It's like he's taken a heavy influence from his past Morphia series and just given us a fresh take on this. In Anamorphia we got the two heads, this time we got the head and the body. So we've got these two little flamingo guys and I'm really excited because not only do we get the flamingos, we get the world underneath them too. jumping right back on in here with my comparison train with the cheetahs I can't help myself but I also think it's very good to show in a review that you know there is things that you might recognize it's just that it's a different environment We've got Converse and we have Worlds, we've got Shops and Huts and they're within the Converse trainers. I am so in love with this double page spread, it is insane. And we're at the end of the book. Now on the last Chiron page it would be absolutely impossible to be able to word what's in this. If you just have a little look for yourself, we have dragons, we have space, we have unicorns, we've got hieroglyphics, we've got worlds, it's just practically everything this book represents on one page. And then of course it wouldn't be a Kirby book without all the answers pages at the back. So as well as having your colouring pages, you have hidden objects throughout and you have to find them and you can refer to the back pages to see if you had found them. And well, I don't know about you, but I don't really usually find all the hidden objects and I do cheat. So these are pretty cool to go back on. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this amazing whirlwind of a review. I was sent this by Michael O'Mara Publishers. They sent me this wonderful copy to review, so thank you so very much. Definitely go pre-order today. If you haven't pre-ordered, you can get this on the 6th of February in the UK. You can get this both via the publishers, Amazon, Book Depository. I will put the links in the description for you. 
Thank you ever so much. I've had an amazing time reviewing this. I will have an amazing time colouring this with you. I will see you on my next video. Until then everyone, take care.